Happy New Year, Vapors. So this is technically take four. I just had all sorts of issues. Uh, I'll get on to the main piece in a second. One thing I did get this week that I thought was really cool was I found a place from Spliner that had uh, the base liquid for DIY. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put that down the doobly-doo for you. And I got 250 milliliters of some 50-50. So that's uh, half propylene glycol, half vegetable glycerin. Comes in a nifty lab bottle like this with horrific warnings on it. Uh, very nice. That'll set me up for months, literally. The one thing I noticed is you do have to be very patient when you're dealing with anything with vegetable glycerin in it because it's extremely thick and goopy and it takes, it's like waiting for molasses. I did mix up some of my favorite, the Desert Ship. Uh, I get the Desert Ship liquid. And there's a 30 milliliter of just a flavor. Desert Ship. Uh, for those of you who don't know, historically, Desert Ship is what they call camels. Uh, so, therefore, it gives you that lovely camel flavor. I mix mine kind of strong. It's supposed to be 2%. I usually mix it at more around 6%. It's way tastier and more satisfying to me that way. Now, the big thing is hold on, I have to look at my notes, see what you've done. Uh, I got a dual coil 510 tank cartomizer, 3.5 milliliter, from Mad Vapes today. That came here, and there it is. There it is. Isn't that pretty? Alright, great. Um, these are the exact same uh, tank cartomizers that Volcano is selling right now for about 16 bucks, uh, except it doesn't have the Volcano logo on it. And it was about six or seven bucks cheaper. Now, uh, pluses, yeah, I, I do like it. It's way better than the original um, tankomizers I had, which looked like atomizers, and you put the little plastic tank in it. You've probably seen prior videos. Those burned down on me. I don't know what the hell was going on with that. So I can always give them just those. Those were bad luck for me. This is wonderful. Well, what you've got in there, you've got the the drip tip mouthpiece here. You've got a cap, the tank, the bottom cap, which of course screws into your crap 510. Uh, there's your 510 connector there. Now inside of there is a cartomizer. And that's one of these dealios. Stick it in there. Now, the one they show on Mad Vapes has a plastic tip. They actually shipped, the one I got shipped actually has a anodized aluminum tip. Which, you know, I thought it would have a, you know, plain plastic tip. So I ordered an additional anodized tip for three bucks. So, I mean... Just ordering it, you're getting just three bucks right there. Okay. Now, these things, I'm not going to fool you. They do have some downsides. Uh, the cover on the top here is a pain in the ass to get off at first. It takes you a couple tries. After using it a couple times, it works fine. But the first time, you need one of these. Okay. And also, the cardamizer does tend to slide on these. Um, don't know why. However, it's not a big issue. There's no leakage there. It's not going to spill out all over the place uh, like the one video I saw. Um, now, you just hook it in. So there's your, actually, well, there, there's the, I already filled this with some Desert Ship there's your tanks and there's the end just in case you want to look you just snap on see see where it slid up on me there 
not so happy about that. It can slide on you and then you juice all over. Um, now, the way they perform, though, is, is pretty good. It is pretty good. I'm not too terribly upset about that. Uh, you just do have to watch the sliding on the, on the cart there. Um, you're going to use a lava tube or a inferno battery or, you know, something large. You don't want to put this on a magma battery. You don't want to put it on a volcano battery because it will burn up the battery. Um, and again, because of the slippage on it, you know, you, you tighten it on and it'll keep twisting. Just tighten it as firmly as you can and don't twist it anymore. All right. Do produce a good amount of vapor. Holds, as I said, three and a half milliliters. I wouldn't fill it all the way up. I'd leave it some airspace because of the way tanks work. Uh, it's uh, due to fluid dynamics. You don't want to fill it completely. Um, I'm on my second tank. Uh, and that's the reason I found some of the other issues and the reason this is take four of this video because I had some, I had some wild issues. Yeah. Um, but... Overall, six bucks less if you get to Mad Vapes. I'll put their info in the doobly doo. Uh, the good people, they ship out of North Carolina, which, depending on where you are, I mean, I had it within two days. Um, and I'll also put the info for the fluid from my Freedom Smokes down in the doobly doo, uh, which is good stuff. And. There you go, that's it. That's my new rig. Isn't that pretty? Isn't it nice? I've been vaping this all day. Doing good. And I hope everybody has a happy new year. It is currently Eastern Time, about 6.30. So we got about five and a half more hours to go till 2012. Which kind of sucks because I only just started writing 2011 and on my checks. So I gotta start all over again. Have a happy new year. Love you guys. See you around.